For Yvonne, life in the industrial city of Pagliati has been stripped to its bare essentials, making a cheap and deadly drug. By adding acid to spark a reaction, by grinding phosphorus into a fine powder and heating, by carefully pouring and measuring. He knows this process very well. He often does little else. Sometimes I might do this five times a day, sometimes only once. Yvonne is cooking a drug called desomorphine, better known in these parts as crocodile or crocodile in Russian. A visit to the local tuberculosis ward gives a glimpse of crocodile's devastating impact. More than 30 percent of the patients here are HIV positive, most due to injecting crocodile with contaminated needles. Both Oksana and Irina are addicts, and Irina in particular bears the gruesome marks of crocodile's damage to human flesh. When it's injected, crocodile eats away the skin, creating a scaly surface and inspiring the drug's name. Horror and disgust, she says, when asked about her reaction. I detest myself. She's been an addict for two years, and tuberculosis is just one of several crocodile-related medical problems. It acts like a catalyst for all internal diseases. If you have bad lungs, it makes them worse. If it's your liver, then it's your liver that's affected. It eats you up from the inside. Oksana started doing the drug four years ago and lost her right eye due to complications from HIV. At least she's still alive, she says. Many of her friends aren't. You see that and you think, I'll be next. It was a shock to find myself in this situation, and I still haven't got out of it. Taliati is a sprawling, grim city of 700,000 people near the Ural Mountains. This is the home of Lada Cars. The brand's owner, Abdavaz, still employs 70,000 workers here. But tens of thousands of jobs have been cut and poverty is everywhere. Tanya Kachakova is a social worker who has watched the toll crocodile has taken on the city and on thousands of addicts. A desomorphine-addicted person is totally consumed by the process of cooking the drug. It's completely different to heroin, which you can take in a couple of minutes and then leave. Yvonne is an example of the endless cycle. After 30 minutes of cooking, the components, including iodine and even petrol, emerge as a drug. Like many addicts, he avoids injecting in his arms to try to conceal his drug use. He chooses a more discreet location. He'll experience a high lasting from 30 to 90 minutes. Then the process will start again. I would like to quit. I wish we had the drug replacement therapy, like in other countries. A big part of the attraction of the drug Yvonne has just made is price. In this part of Russia, a hit of heroin can cost up to $100. Crocodile is prepared for one-tenth the cost. The main ingredient is codeine from headache pills obtained from pharmacies. In all, a batch like the one Yvonne just made can be had for about $10. The colonel who heads the federal anti-drug service in the region admits crocodile is a scourge, not just here, but all over Russia. His department hands out videos of officers intercepting cars trafficking the drug and images of addicts that have been arrested with graphic evidence of the damage crocodile can do. But the drug continues to spread. It's a cheap drug with pretty much the same effect as heroin, but at a much lower price. That's why crocodile is becoming more and more popular. At the local drug treatment clinic, they are overwhelmed. Russia has an estimated two million drug addicts, and it's believed a hundred thousand or more are on homemade drugs like crocodile. Doctors say it's tougher to quit and it's quicker to kill. The problem is that the addicts are going downhill much faster. Heroin addicts can last from five to seven years. With desomorphine, it's two to four years, no more. Olga Kosova's son was one of Crocodile's early victims. Home from the army, with no job and few prospects, he became an addict. I still cry every day. I miss him. 
She watched her son die at home. She says the hospital turned him away, telling her treating him would have been a waste of time. It's impossible to help them. What good are tears or prayers? There's no remedy against this. Back at the drug clinic, Alexander hopes he won't suffer the same fate. He bears the marks of an addiction that so far he cannot beat. My life has been turned upside down. Once I learned how to do it myself, I couldn't stop. It took all my strength to come here to the clinic. It's so hard to stop. In this hidden crocodile epidemic, in cities across Russia, there are many like him. Norman Hermont, Laidline.